Cartoons, the animated frontier. These are the voyages of the Cellcast podcast. It's continuing mission to explore strange new cartoons, to seek out new animation styles and new creative storytelling methods, to boldly go where so few ever go again. Welcome to another episode of The Cellcast. Joining me today is a man who is hoping beyond hope that he'll actually get to go watch a movie in a movie theater again this year, Jacob. Prayer beyond prayer. <laughs> sight Wait, beyond sight. sight. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, can you tell what series we just got done yes. recording? <laughs> Either way, thank you. Uh, why thank you, and let me introduce our co-host, a man who just can't wait to get a reaction of the newest films coming out. Welcome, Drew. How are you doing today, Jacob? Man, I, I'm doing well. <laughs> Minus whatever I ate does not seem pleased with me. <laughs> well, despite that, Jacob, I want to thank you for the last two years of this podcast we've been able to do together. Yeah. Because, yeah, same. folks, it's been two years since we started this. Two years. Since we sat down and made an uh, episode and sh- that was chosen off of a very bad pun. Because <laughs> that's why we chose to start with Frozen. It was a good icebreaker. Yes, it was. And you're the one who made that joke uh, the first time. I did. I did. And I sat there and thought, <laughs> you first said Frozen. Uh-huh. And I remember thinking, I don't want to do Frozen. <laughs> I don't like Frozen. <laughs> Frozen is so overdone. And then you said because you thought it'd be a good icebreaker. And I go, that pun's too good not to pa- not to pass up. That is true. <laughs> that is so true. And th- and thank you for being this um uh, the <laughs> Let me think. The the anchor of this show because what you Well, we don't use anchor. We use Podbean. That is true. That There's is true. some podcasting humor <laughs> for you. <laughs> No, but it'd be like the fact would be like you you edit the podcast, you manage everything, and um, I'd be like, you know, thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing that. That's awesome that you that you do this for this podcast and how the dedication you put into it. Why, well, thank you. Um, and I, I have to say, twenty twenty was a very interesting year, even though we did have uh, you know a hang up called you know. COVID-19. COVID-19. Let's just get it out. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah. Like all our original plans that we made this time last year uh-huh. were had to be thrown out the window. We yes. got of the f- six movies mm-hmm. we talked about reacting to. We yeah. did three. Yeah. <laughs> that is No, true. four. We did actually do four of them. Yeah, we did get four reactions. It just took year. until January for the fourth one to <laughs> <see> <laughs> Yes, <done>. it did. <laughs> Which was supposed to be done in June originally. <laughs> yes. And know this because I got I was listening to last year's anniversary episode while I was at work today. Oh man. And I thought, <laughs> oh, I forgot I used we used to use that intro for that that I kind of rewrote the, the joke from Spider Man uh Enter the Spider Verse. <laughs> I forgot we used to do that. Wow, yeah. So you know, f- fond memories of doing this, doing this podcast for two years now. Uh, it's 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 a it's a blessing that you get to you get to work with you know amazing people, and you get to talk with people about movies, mm-hmm. and um, you get you get to see movies that you that you were not expecting to see or watch or or was never if if you weren't on a podcast. You might decide, well, I don't really want to see that one right now. I'll yeah. see it later. Exactly. Except, oh no, we have to go watch this movie. It's a reaction episode. Yes. <laughs> and you, I don't. You don't want to see Frozen two, Drew. Too bad. Yeah. You're going to go get to watch the Fifth Element in animated form. Oh. <laughs> Except not. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The Fifth Element is a very odd movie. Yes, <laughs> I, I recently it, watched it. In it is a very odd movie. <laughs> that is true. Uh. So yeah, just the, like you know, twenty twenty there again was a very odd year. But looking at our our the category the uh, the catalog of all the films we did, 
Good night. <laughs> oh, yeah. We did some good ones this year. We did. We did some we'll, really good films. We'll come back to all this cool anniversary stuff, though, here mm. in just a minute. Because right now, we do have some weekly stuff to hit. Such as, Jacob, what have you been watching? Oh, good night. Okay. So, I was on vacation. I was on vacation. For Lucky like, dog you. Yes. Wolf. <laughs> I was... Uh, <laughs> so, I spent most of it on sitting on my couch being a bum and watching movies. Uh, I watched, uh, let me think, what did I watch? I watched a lot. Actually, it was a lot of movies that I, I know at one point you watched Hercules cause you drew a picture of Meg. Yes, I did watch Hercules. That was good. Um, now granted from the historical and mythological, that movie is so messed up. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, <laughs> just a bit. The the fact have you actually compared a Disney movie to the uh, the fairy tale it's based on? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the same movie. It's not the same story. No, it's not. Because the the fact in the film, uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched uh, Disney's Hercules, three, two, one. Hercules is the son of Zeus and Hera. <laughs> in that movie. In that movie. <laughs> In that movie, and like you're sitting there going, "Now wait a minute, that's not how demigods work." No, <laughs> and plus, as far as we can tell, Hercules may have actually existed. Possibly. We don't really know, yeah, because all we really know is the mythology. But you know, mythology is sometimes based in fact. That is true, and and mo and most and most. Uh... And what great hero would not claim to be the son of the gods? Oh yeah, absolutely. Did you know most most Greek cities? Had a Her uh, Hercules or Her Hercules uh, hero in their town? Doesn't surprise but me. Most of them did, and you know why he was called Hercules or Heracles? To a plea, oh, to a uh, to appease Hera. Makes sense, since he's also technically the son of Zeus and a random child, ra random woman. Yeah, and you're trying to not piss Hera off. Yeah, that's so true. you name <laughs> so you name your son after. The other woman. Yeah. That actually doesn't much. make a lot of sense the more things I think about it. <laughs> no, but it's... it's yes, little... Josh Adams. There is a Disney version of Hercules. Whoa. It is 15 <laughs> years old. Yes, go watch that. It's really You good. play Kingdom Hearts and you don't know this? There is every... Olympus Coliseum is in every game. And you didn't know this? So just just in the I'm really hoping that's a sarcastic thing, Josh. Yes, folks, we're live. <laughs> yes, we are live. <laughs> and that was just the weirdest thing I saw in chat. <laughs> so yes, if you have not watched Hercules yet, please go watch it. It's a fun movie to watch. Uh now if you're like the history nerd like I am with history and mythology, it's gonna drive you nuts. <laughs> but it's still a very fun movie. Uh I watched that. I started watching Trigun. Uh, which is a very good series. I finished Beast Wars uh, from 1998 from uh, Mainframe Entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really amazing, well, so very well done story. Animation the first season, not so much. In the in the first, like the 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 latter half of the series, seasons two and three, animation is ten times better. Just the first series is like, the first. It's like ugh, kind of a drag. But uh, I saw Your Name, which is there again. Mm -hmm. We did a reaction to it. Amazing. Did we do a reaction? No, we didn't do a reaction. We though. did a full review last year. Yeah, we did a full first year. Yeah, the first year we did a full review of Your Name. And then we did a reaction to Weathering With You, which uh, there again is another incredible yes. film. So go watch that. Go check out our reaction on that one. Also, Your Name, our, our review on that one. And other there is a good chance that Weathering With You might come up this year again. Yeah. I would hope so. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. All right. So I think that's all about I've watched animation-wise. What about you? I haven't had a lot of chance to watch much of anything. Right. <laughs> because I have this horrible thing called a 60-hour work week right now. Mm. So if I seem a little tired or maybe a little punchy, one of the two, that's why. Oi! <laughs> but uh, I have, of course, been continuing on WandaVision. Mm. That fourth episode. Yeah. 
is great. It actually finally it explains a lot of what's going on in the first three. So if you're a little iffy on WandaVision, after seeing maybe the first two episodes, mm-hmm. go ahead and at least take it to episode four when they start explaining what's going on in reality, because that it really mm-hmm. got good at that point. Yeah. Uh, I also have watched uh, The Matrix, mm. which I think we talked about last time. We, we did. But we haven't gotten to that review yet. No. Um, also... I have been playing on the live stream mm-hmm. Final Fantasy fourteen again. Uh-huh. I am playing through the new game plus, which means I get to one shot everything, <laughs> which is fun. <laughs> uh, so if you want to see me, you know, kill everything very quickly and kind of get to enjoy the story without actually mm. having to pay the monthly subscription fee, mm. uh, come over and watch me have some fun with my uh, red mage. Good deal. Uh, past that, honestly, I haven't seen much of anything else, so... Okay. So, I, I do want to bring up one Although more... I did watch uh, Flash Gordon this over the weekend. Oh. You know, I have not seen that. I want to bring that one up on Movie of the Week. Okay. I don't know if you'll like it, because it is very cheesy. Mm-hmm. And I think it's intentionally cheesy, but oh, it's hard to tell. Of course. I mean, one of my favorite parts is, you know... Ming the Merciless mm-hmm. is forcing Dale Arden, you know, Flash's girlfriend, mm-hmm. to marry him. Okay. And there's a sign, uh, yeah, a spaceship dragging one of those, you know, the, the banners behind it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It says, all citizens to make merry. The, the screen shifts over somewhere else. It comes back. Another one's coming across. It says, under pain of death. Oh, wow. Wow. So it's like, okay, yeah, that's great. Also, I'd like to know why why the the leader of the Hawkman's daughter, leader of the Hawkman's, his daughter, has pink wings. And I don't mean pink-ish. I mean hot pink wings. Oh, wow. It's like, I don't think those are her natural color. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but it was it was fun. I, I was it was enjoyable to watch. So, and mm. I needed something completely unrelated to everything else to watch. Mm. And nobody got my reference on what I was wa- what movie I was watching. No, I was like, what in the world? I, I admittedly, was admittedly, I took a picture of the thing that said earthquake. I didn't. I said, <laughs> guess what I'm watching? It's like that may not have been the best shot. I may have waited a little bit longer till they were actually, you know in mongo <laughs> where you get the hot pink sky and right what looks like 30s poor television graphics but it's really state of the art for the time <laughs> uh anyway all right so i do want to bring up one thing i am currently re- or listening reading a book uh through audible uh, really what are you wa- yeah, listening to i'm a stranger in a strange place well, I mean, you are strange. Yeah, I am. I know I am very strange. I've been told this many times in my life. Uh, by Robert A. Heimlein. Most baffling backwards book I've ever listened to or read. <laughs> because the... I got you one beat, but go ahead. Mm, no, nah, just the, the, the fact that you have these characters you're trying to... Analytically? Analytically. Thank you. Analytically. Uh, trying to describe a man who was born on Mars that if he is the sole ruler of Mars and how they and how he is supposed to inherit everything, but just a bunch of it's a bunch of bull crap. Let's say that like the the like everything in this book is. The one the the author's insert character I hate with a ever living passion, <laughs> right? And I think this is the the second book I've read where now Grant I don't I don't I'm not I'm not a like avid hater of the uh, the insert character in this I just don't like him. Mm-hmm. Uh, another book I did listen to read it's like yeah you should deserve everything you get coming to you, but um. So yeah, I'm I'm currently going through that. It is a slog to go through. Uh, I 
I had the inspiration to listen to this uh, from the um, from a, a YouTube channel I listen I watch mm-hmm. quite frequently, and so I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot. And I'm just like, uh, Heimlein, like your insert character is a headache and a half. <laughs> no, no wonder, no wonder how this book ends. That's all your stupid fault. <laughs> But either way, so I'm, I'm listening to that. And plus, we finally got we finally released our first episode for Tangled. Yes. <laughs> Tangled the series. Hopefully we'll get the other two out uh, later this week. Well, hopefully the next one will be tomorrow. I've I still got to edit it. Yeah. Tonight. Oh, fun. Actually, and thankfully, though, well, we'll get to this. It's not actually much editing on my part now since you did most of the editing for the first <laughs> right. season. I did. <laughs> So really, it's just throw the op- throw the beginning on, throw the ending on, try to figure out a subtitle <laughs> for something I've not seen in a year. A year, pretty much. <laughs> About. <laughs> Thank you, quotes on Disney Wiki. <laughs> Usually that's helpful. Right. But yeah, we'll get to that. Right. Um, you said you've not read a more confusing book, right? For the most part. I got it, you. It's, it's, it's not I really. I do have you one beat. It's not confusing. It's frustrating. Listen in this book. A Thousand and One Arabian Nights. Okay. I started listening to that about six months ago, and I still haven't finished it. Because I want. I actually started it when we did the Aladdin episode. Okay. Because it's like, I'm curious how closely this matches up, or doesn't match up. Doesn't match up to the original story. So I thought, well, I'll just, I've never listened to 1001 Arabian Nights. Let's listen to 1001 Arabian Nights. Yeah. I'm about 20 stories into 1001 Arabian Nights. Mm-hmm. Not one of them is actually ended yet. <laughs> because each of them ends, ends with, well, surely you've heard about the what happened to so-and-so and when he did so-and-so. And the guy says, no, I haven't. Well... So and so and the so and so. So and so was off doing this such thing. And it does that every time. Every once in a while, it'll come back and fin- push part of that story forward some more. Mm-hmm. But then they'll get off on another tangent. And you're going, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> what is the main story here again? Oh, yes. It's because this princess, trying, uh, this woman trying not to die yeah. by the prince that kills his wife every night, at, right at, every time he gets married. Which is every night. Yeah. And she's trying to keep herself alive, so she keeps the story going on free for days. Oh yeah. Specifically, a thousand and one oh, nights. Nice. <laughs> it's like, you know, this is ingenious in how you're staying alive. Can you finish a story, please? Because <laughs> I don't remember what happened to this Greek who was dealing with a djinn. I don't even know what I forgot how long ago that was. How many stories up the hierarchy it is, <laughs> or whatever you know what I mean. Yeah. Anywho, that brings us to the news. Yes. What do we got in the news? All right. What do we have in the news? Outside of one, I know I brought up on All Facebook. Right. Yeah, you did bring that up. It was a very good point. Uh, so apparently, it's been twenty-five years today. Actually, it was like a couple weeks ago I found that out. That was. But anyway. Either way, uh, Toei Animation, uh, Toei Animation, let me pronounce that correctly. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, 25 years ago, a uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, was the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's when it aired. That was aired. That was the last episode, episode based is- on the manga. Yeah. Ah, after that point, it's all whatever Toei made up. Yeah, pretty now, they much. had help from Akira Toriyama. Yes, but Toei made most of it up. <laughs> yeah, so that uh, when I saw that this morning, I was like, "Ooh, that's interesting." Because mm-hmm. I, I know that's why I shared it <laughs> when I saw it. Yeah, and it was not like a, it was linked from another group. It came up. You know how when you're going through Facebook, you'll see it'll get show posts you might be interested in yeah. from elsewhere. That's what it was. It's like this is the first time this has worked for me. Huh. So yeah, we we have that. Also, we had an announcement from I believe Netflix. All right. So this is concerning a we did a reaction to this movie in the very beginning of the year. Okay. Well, concerning of this year 
of last year. Of last year. You know, 2020. Okay, any guesses? Well, I mean, last year, the first reaction we did, which was technically part of season one, was Weathering With You. True. But I'm guessing that's not what you're no, referring to. No, I'm not. <laughs> Could it be you're referring to a... Uh, a, a blue rodent who go, runs very fast and likes chili dogs. You're correct. <laughs> so apparently Netflix, Sony of America, Inc., and Wild Brain announced a new animated series for Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Sonic Prime was set uh, to premiere worldwide in 2022. 20, 2022. Is it bad when I look at that name, Sonic Prime? I expect him to be leading a uh, a bumblebee, oh. and uh, well, he is charming. I do forget about him. It sounds like he's opt. He's should be search not instead of searching for the seven chaos emeralds. Should be searching for the matrix of leadership. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah, that's when I and first let's face saw it, it, a Sonic the Hedgehog Transformers crossover. I'd watch. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You just know Sonic would think the Transformers, both sides, uh-huh. were some evil machination by Doctor Eggman. True. <laughs> I just said the the word the name I should I don't want to say, but oh well. Because <laughs> I'm sorry to me, he's still Robotnik. Yeah, Robotnik Eggman, whichever. Japan, <laughs> Japan. Anyway, Japan. <laughs> either way. So that's that's all I could find literally for the news. Uh, they did do announce it for the Oscars. For mm-hmm. movies that are uh, coming up that are have been nominated for, and let me get to those real fast. You know, you have something marked, and then it just disappears on you. Mm-hmm. I like what Josh Adams says in reference to our Star, our Sonic Transformers mm-hmm. hypothetical crossover. Yeah, he says, "Well, he can roll out." Yeah, he can. <laughs> All right, so. They recently announced for the 27th Oscars uh, for the animated features. Mm -hmm. And apparently there's a lot of them. A lot of movies that have been nominated. Uh, Which is odd considering not many of them went to a theater. That is true. I'm like, well, they're nominating from like all platforms and all. I I guess. Yes. Because they can't just give the best picture to something like Sonic the Hedgehog. Right. (laughs) That is true. (laughs) And there were far better or, movies that came out or, that year. Or Birds of Prey. Oh, that, that came out last year. That wasn't animated, though. <laughs> no, but imagine that being up for Best Feature, because since it was one of the few movies that went to a theater last year. That is true. That is so true. I'm just Wonder, saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I'd be like, if that's the case, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 82. 84. Please. 84, yes. I, I'd vote for that for the Oscar, even though that movie has problems. That is true. That's still better than some of the stuff that they usually put. That is true, but also... But that's just personal opinion. Yeah, that's the Oscars. We, we I, all, I never agree opinions. with them anyway. Agreed. All right, so a few that have been nominated that probably we would know. Mm-hmm. There, there's several of them. I can make uh, some guesses. Accidental Luxurious of the Translucent Water Ruby. That's, I have not that, heard I, of that. That's an actual movie. Let me see that title. Accidental Luxuriance of the Translucent Water Rebus. Water Rebus. That has got to be a foreign film. <laughs> it probably is. It probably is. So most of you know I'm reading on my phone for news. <laughs> and? And? That's where her notes are, too. That is true. <laughs> that is so true. Uh, Bombay Rose. Not heard of it. No. Let's see. The Croots, The New Age. Still haven't watched it. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Slayer, the movie. Dream Builders. Earwig and, the, Earwig and the Witch. Still need to watch it. Kill It and Leave This Town. Boy, they're Lu- really stretching this year. Lupin the Third, the first. It won't win because it's not a Miyazaki anime. Hmm. Mosley. My favorite war, the noise and conspiracy of Mavericks, number seven, Cherry Lane. I've not heard of any of these. On Goku, our sound, Geku, our sound, 
Onwards, over the Onward moon. Onward gets should get it. Over the moon was the, good. This is getting. In, this has been nominated. This is interesting. Red sh- red shoes and the se- and the seven dwarfs. Good night. That's come up again. <laughs> yes. It, Fat it, shaming the movie. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Wow. That that is. That We're is gonna pretty... have to watch this just to find uh, out what exa- the crap is going on. Exactly. Exactly. That that's what we do this and for. It's we... on Amazon. Is the thing. <laughs> we gotta watch it at some point. Probably we'll put it on the list for this year just to see what. What this is about and do a review over it. Good night. Mark. Oh, that's staying in there, dude. Yes. No, no, no. I'm like, check, we're doing that movie. Uh Ride Your Wave. Scoob. A Sean the she- the the Sheep movie, Farmageddon. Mm-hmm. Soul. Uh Sponge the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on our water Sponge. How Water. it's not out. I had no idea. It was supposed to be out. I guess people got a... a uh... It's not out. It shouldn't be <laughs> <laughs> Tara well, we- Willy. Tara Willy. Troll. That's one movie I have seen. Uh, Trolls World Tour. Uh, a Whisper Away. The Wally Boys. Wally Boys. The Wallabies. And- Wallabies. Thank I you. I saw that one. Huh. The Wally, the Wallabies, Wallabies. the Wallabies, oh, Willoughby's, Willoughby's, it's the Thank Willoughby's, you. yeah, Willoughby's. Thank you. It's a weird movie. <laughs> Good, but weird. Huh. and uh, Wolf Walkers. Okay. Uh, so yeah, those are all the movies, all the anime movies that are nominated for an Oscar. I will put my vote towards Onward for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scoob, because Scooby-Doo needs an Oscar win at least once. That is true. And that's not a bad choice for that Oscar win. Yeah, I, I can I can see Soul winning one. Unfortunately. Well, Soul, Soul is not was not a terrible film. It just no, had some, had some no, very it, weird I mean, concepts. I mean, it still fits. It's It does not prove wrong the Pixar rule that, there's, that even Pixar's worst movies are not so good. Right. It's just... Not one I want to see again. Okay. I'll put it that way. Although we probably will have to do it, do a full review of it at some we point. Will. We will. But not in a hurry for that one. Um, um Yeah. You I'll, mentioned one and I can't think of what it was. Let me see your list. Sure. Surprise loop in the third, the first is on here because I don't figure it, very few people knew what that was. But yeah, yeah, I'm not saying what I was thinking of. Yeah, that, that was a movie. That's a movie we were definitely have to uh, get around to watching. Whisker Away is one of the ones I meant to see but didn't. Whisker Away. Hmm. So yeah, that is all the movies that are being nominated. It's probably all the films that came out in 2020. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> or Lens like SpongeBob hasn't come out yet. We'll get to that. Yeah, we will get to that. Uh, so that's all the news we got? Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, since this is an anniversary episode, we don't have any uh, movie to review nope. on this one. Nope. I'm curious, Jacob, mm. what are some of your favorite episodes from this year that we've oh, done? Wow. Uh, I'll first start off is probably a lot of our reactions. Because mm-hmm. we, we had all these amazing movies that we got to watch. Uh, we watched... Let's see, Sonic the Hedgehog. Who? Why is the? I, I can't. I, <laughs> let me bring that. That I want to actually read these subtitles that I come up. Oh with. yeah, that was that was another thing I wanted to bring up because the how funny like I like, try. He, I he, so try. He, he, and he he nails it most of the time with the uh, with how the uh, the titles of these and, and, and just, it, <laughs> it kind of feels wrong to actually. Uh, see, that's why I should have got this list from you ahead of time instead yeah. of. So yeah, that's gonna be way down here. Yeah, like at the beginning of the year. <laughs> and I do, I do have to say because, uh, as most of you know from our last episode, yeah. we uh, initially we were gonna start TAS with Tangled. Yes, but and Drew came up brought up brought up the notion that. 
Well, it, what but, it came, what happened was, yeah, I was at work, mm-hmm. and I'm always trying to think of stuff when, in my spare time, I guess, mm-hmm. when I'm my brain's focused. My, I'm physically doing something else. I need my brain to focus on something. Right. I'm always trying to think of cool stuff, and I was thinking of this new Star Trek show that was coming up, mm-hmm. and that it was animated, and then it occurred to me, you know, I really want to watch the show. And it's a shame we can't do this on the animated series since we're starting that with Tangled next year. Uh huh. Things just aren't going to time out right for this. And then it hit me. Why can't we start it early? <laughs> so I texted you and I said uh-huh. something to the effect of, you know, we got this new Star Trek animated sh- show uh-huh. is kind of, if we hit this right, this could be the. St- be a good starting point for yeah. this uh thing are you interested in doing that one or do you want to hold off yeah you said you were interested so it's like okay we'll figure out how to do this yeah so what we ended up doing is you would after church you'd come over mm-hmm. about 1 32 o'clock yeah we'd watch the episode and then go to the computer and talk about it <laughs> yes <laughs> and I, I have to i have to say when it comes to that series i was like Ooh, Star Trek Lower Decks, and knowing like who the producers behind it and everything. Yes, I mean we I'm had like, reasons to be worried. I, I, I was, I, I had, I had concerns. I was like, is this going to be good or just really, really cringy? And turns it out, it was a little of both. It was a little of both. It was a little of both, and it was so, it was such a. Now, granted, I'm not a Trekkie like yeah. Drew is, but at the same time, it's like, wow, this is really good story storytelling wise. Mm-hmm. Was a really well done story, and um, now, Grant, I don't get all the the lore and the mythos. Oh, of, we'll, we'll get a little bit to this. The, in, we'll get to that in the in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just the, his his interjection yes. of let's do lower decks first was, I think, a stroke of genius. It was really well, really. I, I try. <laughs> I, I can't claim it's genius. It's just. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was so a good yeah, idea. The Sonic the Hedgehog mm-hmm. one you were talking about, its subtitle is, Why is that incredibly handsome hedgehog being chased by a madman with a Civil War mustache? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, be like, like all the reactions we do are just simply amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, I like them. Uh, definitely when we did Scoob. Oh, my uh, God. Scoob, that's on here. Uh do do which has a different subtitle than the actual review. Uh, the reactions one is, you might want to buckle up. <laughs> that is so... <laughs> and for fun, even though this might come up later, uh, where's the other Scoob? Where's the other Scoob? Ah, yeah. The actual review one was, this isn't about a guy, some guy in a rubber mask. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had the... Um, we had the very fortunate... Uh, just before the pandemic hit, mm-hmm. we were able to watch Onward in theaters. Yes, and Onward. Uh, where is that on here? On a on a quest. The, the oh, cl- on the a quest. Path. The clear path is never the right, right one. One. <laughs> one of the few ones I could actually remember from the movie after we watched it. Yes, <laughs> great movie. Go watch it. It's it's definitely worth. Uh, a few of my favorites probably during the year was probably when we did uh, Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Your I, Angel of Death Awaits. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love I love that movie. And I love the fact we got to review it. Uh, and a lot of the uh, the specials we did with uh, with a co-host. Yes. Uh, our, our special guests or what have you. We just had so much fun with those. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me get to uh, what we just we did. Um, we did Ghost and Shell with uh, Brian Rafe. Yes, which was that, a lot. Of, that one was going for a dive. Yeah, going for a dive. That was that was good. Uh, I that I was enjoyed, the hardest one to come up with one for. Uh, let's see. We did that one. We did uh, Pokemon the first movie with ah, yes. with uh, our one of our avid listeners, Josh, uh, who, who, Josh is, who is in the uh, the chat right now. Yeah, blowing it up. Uh, <laughs> That's going to be up here. So uh, that was fun. So yes. if, just just for our listeners, because uh, at the time we we couldn't do live we couldn't do live stream with uh, another person. Okay, yeah. The Pokemon the first movie Mewtwo Strikes Back 
Its subtitle was, they mostly live in Minnesota. It's referring to the Vikings. <laughs> yes, I'm aware of that. <laughs> I was like, okay, a football joke. I get that one. <laughs> All right, so we got that one. We have... Um, when uh, who, uh, which was uh, Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. That was James Hamrick. Yeah, James. Hamrick. That episode was called, that subtitle was Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> that that was good because it was more uh, was someone because even before the episode, uh, Drew was more. It's like oh, this could be interesting because James is gonna be like very much a a a movie movie a movie nerd. Like, and then there's us. And then there's us. We're just geeking up. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so that that was more of his apprehension. It was like it was a really good episode. Uh, and then we get the the crossover with uh, banter banter. Yes. With uh, Aaron Lowe and Space that was Jam. A Space Jam. He's replacing a divot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the 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 one I love to death, which was probably the funnest for the latter of the year. Mm-hmm. Um. Would be when we did uh, Retro Rewind. <laughs> oh, that was... We, we were on their show. Yeah, we were on their show. Which was uh, Kung Fu Hustle, which we did like, just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, you did miss one of the one, one of our guests. Yeah. Yes, it was Jim. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Which you did one of Jim's. You just didn't do his other one. Because oh, yeah. it was our crossover with Movie of the Week podcast. That's... Oh, yeah. We did, we did Mulan. We did Mulan. We did Mulan. Our episode was I was going to bring it up. I just... I Disson- really forgot about yes. it. And that subtitle was Dishonor on you, Dishonor on your cow. <laughs> there again. He's good with the puns. <laughs> I just, I just like pun. quoting random crap. I know. <laughs> oh. But quoting very good crap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so getting into mine. Okay. My first one was actually one of the animated series episodes. Uh, Star Trek Lower Decks. Crisis Point, The Rise of Veritas, <laughs> to which that subtitle was, <clears throat> Tell the Paul Wraith that Shaq sent you special delivery from Bajor. <laughs> that line made me laugh so hard. <laughs> yes, it We did. had to pause the show episode. <laughs> yes. So I could cry laughing. <laughs> And you didn't even know why I thought it was funny. No, I didn't. You had to explain it. <laughs> oh, God. And I am convinced, looking back on that line right now, that must have been their answer to Worf's famous line in Star Trek First Contact, Assimilate this. <laughs> Because oh, that episode was man. making fun of every Star Trek movie. That is true. From JJ's uh, uh, lens flares <laughs> to let's blow up the Enterprise and have it crash land on a planet. Why don't we? <laughs> Except it wasn't the Enterprise. It was the... I nearly called it the Casita. That is not the name of that ship. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, I, I just loved that one because that was just a fun one to watch and review. Agreed. Uh, also, I got on here. This was the most surprising one because I had not seen this movie prior to us watching it. Yeah. And it was far better than I expected it to be. Okay. And that was The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, bother. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was a fun one. I did not. I'd that never was. seen the movie before. Yeah. I know I'd seen maybe some of the cuts of that because you know it mm-hmm. was also they it was also split into shorts yeah it, well, it was created as shorts first and they edited it into the movie okay. so i'm fairly certain i'd seen though one of those at some point but i had never watched the whole thing and that was just such a fun movie to watch Agreed. i thought we had a good time on the episode itself we did and then of course i just realized i actually put, wrote the wrong one on here because i actually know what the last one is Without having to look at that. Okay. Ocean waves. Oh, gosh. I was going to bring that up. I can hear the sea (laughs) and other lies. You don't have to guess why I liked that one, because that's the first. I went on the biggest (laughs) rant I ever had. And it was a good rant. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I I was was going to bring that up. And me quoting that line from Frasier. Yes. It's like, I just... 
there's a part of me that thought maybe I'm going a little overboard here. <laughs> but that kind of goes away with uh You sold your soul to Beelzebub, and her name is Marianne. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. I, 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 I was going to bring up the fact that, like, what was the what was the worst film you'd be like? And it can't be the only mo- yesterday. <laughs> no, no, it was not only yesterday, because that's not the one I'm thinking of. Ocean Waves is probably the one I disliked the most. Yeah. But in terms of the worst overall of last year. Yeah. Uh, that is a very good question. Yeah. I think mine would probably be like either. Oh, m- I actually know mine. Go okay. ahead. But you go ahead. Uh, Monsters versus Aliens. There's a part of me that, though, that still likes that one. Yeah. Because it, well, it likes it better than my actual pick. Okay. Which was The Swan Princess. Oh, okay. I hated that movie. <laughs> or here, here's one that I know we both didn't like uh, Moses Jones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, there was oh. another surprising one that I actually yeah. liked. Yeah. That, and it's surprising because we had seen both seen the movie before. Okay. But what we did not know was that there was more to the movie when we got around to watching it. Yeah. And that was Final Fantasy VII the, Advent the Children, Children Complete. Complete. <laughs> Dilly dally shilly oh, shally. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you, I'm sure you know the story. Yeah. Uh, but for all the people at home. We, I was getting excited for Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I thought as a good reaction to something, let's mm-hmm. do, since Final Fantasy VII Remake's coming out, how about the weekend it comes out, we'll release our episode on Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Yeah. I had a copy, and you had a copy. My original copy that I got when it came out, I couldn't find. So before we actually even started the podcast, mm-hmm. I went and bought really both the uh, Advent Children and spirits with it so i had been sitting on for a year yeah what i did not know was the ver- i had bought the complete version but i thought when i picked that up that oh this is just gonna have like a bunch of extra features mm-hmm. not a bad get but yeah eh, that's not what i'm expecting it to be yeah so i get home from work i put the disc into the ps4 i make sh- i make sure the language is set to english mm-hmm. because sony for some reason Never sets it to English automatically. I don't know why, but say la vie. I get it switched. I hit play. I'm sitting there with a with a eating a hamburger. I think. I see the dedication, you know, uh, to all who found who 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 found this world and found friendly company where therein this reunion is for you. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, I remember that, and I'm expecting it to go into. You know, the scene at mm-hmm. North Crater. Yeah. And that's not where, where the scene goes. No. It's Rufus and uh, the main bad guy, whose name I can't think of at the moment, talking in Helan. I'm going, I don't remember this scene. <laughs> and then it goes to another scene that I've never seen before. I'm going, what's going on? This is not the movie I remember. No, was. it's not. And then it finally gets to the movie I do remember, and you've got Reno flying the helicopter over Northern Crater. I'm going, okay, maybe that was just... I'll let it go. And the scene gets to where I, it normally ends. And it keeps going. Until so you hear gunshots, and you hear what sounds like the other two Turks dying. And I'm going, <laughs> hang on, pause. <laughs> Google search, is this a, is this an extra different cut of this movie? <laughs> it was. Yeah. And I remember watching the whole thing, thinking that, okay, I'll watch the complete version. Jacob will watch the regular version. And then we can, this will be an interesting episode, because I can talk about what I saw in this one. Uh-huh. You can talk about what you saw in that one. I get to the end of it, and I go, pick up my phone. <laughs> Jacob, which version of this movie are you watching? <laughs> and he says, oh, I'm watching the regular version. He says, you're sure it's not the complete version? <laughs> no. No. It's like, hang on a second. I'm about to bring you a disc that you need to watch. 
<laughs> Which I'll be allowed to say it was it's a far superior version. It is very movie. far superior. I just didn't know it existed. Oh okay. and it, it existed for ten years. <laughs> wow. Okay, so so here here's an interesting segue. So we went from our worst movies we watched to probably the movie that we watched for the first time we were blown away by. I know mine off the top oh, of my head. Oh watched for the first time and we're blown away. <laughs> yeah. And I'm assuming we can't go before February. No. <laughs> of last year. Has to be within 2020. Has to be, well, our, within our season two. Yeah, within our season two. I'm just scrolling up here in case I've forgotten. Uh, can be really mean. <laughs> I mean, I know which one I had the big... In reactions wise, yeah, that I geeked out the most of after we watched it, mm-hmm. and that was Scoop. But I wouldn't say I was blown away by it. Yeah, Scoop. Uh, Scoop was good. Scoop was good. The first reaction of it. Yeah. Um, I'll go, I'm, I'm just I'm, going through here right quick. Go ahead and say yours. Uh, mine would be uh, the Iron Giant. Ah, huh. Iron Giant was a movie that I had heard before. And if you want like our full our full full reaction to that or full review of it, go check that out. Mm-hmm. It's in the cat. It's in the catalog. So go uh, check it out. Uh, like and subscribe and share with whoever you want. Yeah. Uh, I was just absolutely blown away because I had, I had heard about this film and people kept telling me, Jacob, you're an animation nut. Go watch this movie. And I absolutely just loved this movie to death. Mm-hmm. And. You know, there again, Drew picked the picked the film, and I was just blown away by it. I was like, "Wow, incredible!" And when you have pulled up right now, uh, Adventures of Tin Tin, that movie blew my freaking mind. Oh, that wasn't the one I was looking at. No, but uh, just like I just glanced up to Adventures of Tin Tin. Oh my gosh, wow! And the whole reason it, it didn't do well, never got a sequel, because it didn't do well in America. I have heard rumors. Yeah. Of a sequel coming mm. out in the next couple of years. Right. But that's all they are, are rumors. Yeah. Now, to answer your question yeah. about the movie that probably blew me away the most, mm-hmm. I'm going to admit, if when you listen to our review of this episode, I had problems. Yeah. But at the same time, mm-hmm. it is the most impressive movie I think I watched this year, I would especially gr- for the time period. Yes. And that is Ghost in the Shell. Ah, because hey, I had never seen it before. Okay, I had seen Standalone Complex, mm-hmm. but I had never seen this one before. And while there was still some issues, I think I was I still have yeah in terms of uh, its philosophy, it, what it's the story it's telling, and all that stuff. Animation wise, it blew me out of the water. Oh yeah, absolutely. because I'm watching that and going. This is all hand drawn. Uh huh. I mean, I know there's some computer generated gimmickry, but there's not a lot. It's very much still hand drawn. Yeah. And they're doing some amazing stuff with this. Mm-hmm. And I can see now. I understand now, having seen Ghost in the Shell, why people did not were mad at the Scarlett Johansson movie. Mm-hmm. I still disagree. Yeah. But I understand why people were mad. Yeah. But at the same time, the Scarlett Johansson movie is not a remake of this Ghost in the Shell. No, it's not. It's an original story. But Agreed. anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I think another one I I had not seen before, just looking through our list, is like The Good Dinosaur. I, I was looking forward to that one because I still think that movie is underrated. Agreed. I, I think there's a lot of the films that we, we watch that, like, was it be like... Ha- well, are underrated mm-hmm. are underrated like uh tin tin was another one that's underrated well and jump um, back to when we did in our first year summer wars oh yeah summer wars is amazing mm-hmm. that, that's just a really really good film um now if you go back and watch your review listen to our review of it uh it's the same director of digi uh digimon the, the movie f- well the- did he directed the original digimon television show yeah and he directed the first two thirds of yeah. Digimon the movie. Exactly. And you can tell oh, when you watch the second the second, second part of it. Second act. Because it's yes. like, oh 
this is what led into Summer Wars. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty <laughs> much. Visually, anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, we had, you know, that movie. Well, like, there's a ton of movies we've done that, there again, Obmosa Jones was a terror. Like, oh, my gosh. Which, apparently, Josh Adams disagrees with us. But, okay. Hey, to each his own. Yeah, exactly. Are you curious what our top downloaded reviews are? Sure. Coming in at number 10. Okay. With 41 downloads since it released. Okay. Tangled frying pans. Who knew? Right on. At number nine, Anastasia. Dead, 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 dead. All the Romanovs are dead. dead. <laughs> They're dead. Coming in at number remember. eight, Looney Virus. What's Opera Doc? Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. <laughs> the, by the way, the, the loony virus is... Uh, we still fil- have some of those. <laughs> yeah, your, your your fillers are re- are really, really well done. And definitely when we had, like, maybe something come up or... Yeah. We like, still have three more of the loony virus ones we can still release. But I think the next time we record a batch, mm-hmm. instead of Looney Tunes, we need to do Tom and Jerry. That is true. Okay, very, so, very true. Go so ahead. coming in at number seven. Yeah. Prep and landing. Operation Secret Santa. Oh, yes. Ah, frostbite. <laughs> yes. Now, I'd like to point out, this one had a, this had 58 downloads, by the way. Yeah. This one did not start rising yeah. until November. Really? Because I was sitting there watching, and this one had like 10 mm-hmm. downloads for like most of the year. Yeah. Since it released. I'm thinking, okay, that makes sense. It's it's a it's a short. Mm. I mean, these don't really do a whole lot. And then all of a sudden in November, everybody started downloading this one. Wow. The other I, I wonder why. I don't know. <laughs> the other prep and landing ones have not hmm. risen yet. Uh-huh. They're still I mean they're they've got decent download numbers, but they're not, you know, up. Yeah, okay. That was some uh, number six. Frozen, the icebreaker. Of course. <laughs> Which is amazing, because for a long period of time, it was number one. Huh. But coming in at number five, The Jungle Book, our, which was our first live show, I'd like to point out. Yeah, it was. The bare necessities aren't toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> which will forever mark... <laughs> Yeah. What happened this year <laughs> in our podcast? Episode. That is true. That is so true. <laughs> Number four, The Lion King. Are you aching for some bacon? Yes. And I, I have to I have to say with that review. Now that that wasn't the the uh live action. No, one. that was the animated one. I, I would have to say that was like, the first one we just threw in. To make so we'd have it before we watch the new one. That is true. So I, I do have to applaud you for the the person you are when it comes to singing. <laughs> I, I I like for the fact me like he restrained himself so much boom, from not boom, singing boom, the entire boom, time. Boom 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 boom. <laughs> but now I'm starting. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like it was because I was like, oh boy, we're gonna get the entire song sang in melody, <laughs> melody just the entire time. It's great. So I, I applaud you for not, you know, going, right. into, going into music the entire time. But it's been funny. And so yeah, I, I I forgot to mention Jungle Book had seventy one downloads. Yes, Lion King had seventy five. Hmm. Coming in at number three, an American Tale. There are no cats in America. But all right. <laughs> Which had 84 downloads. Next, at number two, Hotel Transylvania. I do not say blah, blah, blah. blah. (laughs) 98 downloads. Wow. Now, I am going to, I'm going to see if you know this. Because I think you can guess this. Okay. Number one has 152 downloads. What movie? And this movie was one of yours. Oh. That's a lot of movies. Oh, we've mentioned before, but I'm drawing mm-hmm. a blank. Mm-hmm. It's from the first year. 
Okay, that says a lot. <laughs> uh, ah, Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. Indeed, <laughs> it's <laughs> terror time again. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> man, that was like it's 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 one of those Scooby Doo movies that was done so incredibly well, and they 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 had this mark. Where they had Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, and they never got back. They up never there. breached it. Scoob has been the closest, in yeah, my opinion, exactly. But it's still not there. No, but it's that is a shocker beyond shocks that that Scooby is Doo on, that is our most downloaded episode. Scooby Doo on Zombie Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, and that's only a hundred and fifty two downloads. Yeah, for references' sake, mm-hmm. bring this up. And sign in. As of today, which is February 2nd, 2021. Yesterday, eight downloads. Wow. The last seven days, 72 downloads. The last 30 days, 372 downloads. Wow. All time. Do you care to take a guess? Ah, I don't know because I'll be like I'm, I'm, I'm two thousand seven hundred and eighty. Wow, that thank you. is up from last year where we had seven hundred total. Wow, we Mucho, have grown exponentially. Wow, muchas gracias, uh, friends. Thank you so much. And once again, I think we said this last year. We're gonna. I'm gonna say it again. Okay. We are thankful for every single download. <laughs> exactly. Because we don't deserve it. No. Exactly. We're we're just we're, we're just, just two nerds talking on the internet, and we're glad y'all y'all just hang out. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. That that is that is a blessing beyond belief. Because the the fact that I, I think we were talking with Aaron. I think in our first year. Mm-hmm. No, it was our second year or whatever. It would have been around uh, Space Jam. Yeah, around Space Jam. That like you were giving off the numbers, he was like, "Wow, that's impressive." But uh, to hear those numbers, oh my gosh, guys, thank you so yeah. much. Uh, there again, we wanted be like, yeah, we we do this because we're having fun with it, mm-hmm. and uh, you guys are just like downloading. I I don't know where it was downloading from, but thank you so much. Oh yeah, from all from us two nerds enjoying movies to you, uh, muchas gracias, and uh, uh, may the Lord. Bless you and keep you because that's yeah. uh, uh, amazing. Amazing to hear that. That we kind of is. highly appreciate every download. We highly appreciate everyone who is hanging out in our live chat. Exactly. Even though most of the time it's just Josh. <laughs> <laughs> but we thank you. We're glad you're here anyway. Because exactly. Believe it or not, people being in chat helps immensely. It does. when you're live streaming. It does. It does. It it, it makes the it makes the uh, the experience even more. Yeah. Uh, kind of like when when we when we started doing the live streams mm-hmm. with uh, Jungle Book. Yeah, that that was fun. That was that was so much fun to actually get interaction with a lot more people. And uh, hopefully, in the next few years, we can because now understanding more of like retro re- retro <laughs> rewind podcast. Uh, they've been doing it for almost ten, like ten years. Yeah, and so it's it's that building community and building of. Uh, just followers who just love what you do, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I, I have a prayer in the, in the exact same kind of a hope that we can someday uh, ins- inspire to be that. Yeah, for people. So I do want to thank a couple of people before we go into before we end our anniversary section here. Yeah. First off, I want to thank Retro Rewind Podcast. Yes, both Francisco and Paul, the Master Interrupter Powers. You have to use the whole title. Sorry, I I almost messed up. Paul, the Master Interrupter Powers dot (laughs) com. Except don't go to that long website. Anyway, moving on. (laughs) I want to thank both those guys because they have been great help Mm -hmm. and uh, and great uh, encouragement. Yeah. Because usually right after we get done recording, we pop over there and watch Francisco try to beat NES games. And it's been... And that bit of encouragement has been yeah. good. I've all you, you don't know this because uh, this is in my off time. Yeah. But I hang out with them. I hang out on their on a lot of his streams, and I've started hanging out over on Geek Devotions stream 
which mm-hmm. I want to thank him too because okay. he gave us a great shout out last night. Oh, excellent! And he gave a great a great shout out, great tweet uh, on us today, or he included us in a tweet today. Oh, uh, excellent! I'll show that to you later. But it, that just that alone just gets our name out there, and I'm yeah. thankful for that. I also want to thank pretty much everyone in the Christian Geek Central Network. Yeah, thank for you for accepting us. <laughs> yes, exactly, and allowing us to hang out with them. Uh, y'all guys have been great. Uh, and uh, I also want to give a big shout out over to Ryan Ashley Wall over at uh, the Raw Quiz Show for letting me hang out over there. I haven't lost yet. Okay, good. <laughs> but I, I'm thankful for that. And there is something coming up between us and him and a couple of other people that we can't talk about yet. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and throw this tease here. Okay. See if y'all like yeah if y'all like that news when it comes out. Okay. I'm saying it that way because there's actually a chance that when by the time this episode comes out, there will be actually a little audio stinger about it. Okay. Because it's supposed to happen by the end of the week, but you know how things go. Yeah. So there is that, and uh, yeah, I also want to thank every single one of our listeners. Exactly. Y'all, it would ain't yeah we're we're two nerds just here having fun. But we wouldn't be doing it if y'all had not paid attention to us. We would be we'd have stopped by now. Exactly. I ha- I'm very. I'm pretty much certain. Or would have just been two guys. We, we wouldn't have recorded it. We just talk about crap. Yeah, exactly. Which we do anyway. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to uh, one of our listeners, Heather Morgan. Uh, she is literally on the heartbeat of like what's going on in uh, Disney news. I know she she does some. Uh, I think she does uh, like Disney gaming for part mm-hmm. of what she does. And uh, she's always like tagging me in like uh, Disney related uh, animation news. So there again, thank you, Heather, for all that uh, for all that you do. It's just tagging me in a post, yeah. and I post that to our our page, and it's it helps out a lot because most of the time I'll probably miss it. So like at one point I got tagged at like four in the morning. I was like, what in the world? It's like, oh, cool. <laughs> I but I did forget two people. We uh, three people that we do actually also need to thank. Okay. The guys over at Banter Banter. That is true. They have been an immense help to us, especially in the early days. Yeah, agreed. And uh, we did a. They were all, they were the first ones we did a, a crossover episode with. That is true. And we are maybe looking at doing another one in the next couple months. So keep exactly. an eye out for that one. Yeah, Sorry exactly. to interrupt you. I was just getting that one out there because I just realized it's like oh, I forgot somebody. Yeah. For that people, um, very important group of people. Exactly. Uh, also, like to uh, you know, extremely thank our our, our guests who have come on over the the last two years. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it, it definitely breaks the dynamic up with. And, yeah. uh, I know we have a few. We have a few more guests coming on. Uh, we, we've got and, at least two planned coming yeah. up. Uh, I've got a couple. I'm a couple invites. I'm going to send out later on in the year mm-hmm. after we get past these first two. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So, and there, and uh, another one we want to give uh, thanks to because we're actually a part of the show is uh, the uh, the movie of the week podcast yes. with my brother Jim. Uh, so, if you want to go listen to us talk about you know live action movies, mm-hmm. go check them out over there. And uh, if you would, Jim is currently having some uh, eye issues right now. So, if you would definitely pray for him and uh, him trying to get over this. Uh, yeah. I, I texted him earlier and he wasn't. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail because he didn't really give me any but he, detail. But he can't watch the giant monkey yet. No, apparently not. <laughs> so just keep in your prayers would be appreciated. Yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, definitely for those people who have just kind of encouraged us and because I, I know a lot of people have, you know, it's like, man, I really enjoy your podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, or those people are like, wait, you do a podcast? Because the yeah. like you, you you get that a lot. You get that. I was like, wait. And then you, you we like, also get those people say, "What's a podcast?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the the funny one was like a younger like person who was like seventeen years old. What's a podcast? I'm like, yeah. wait a minute. How do you, you don't know, know what a podcast is? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know what a podcast was at seventeen, but that's because it didn't exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So yeah, uh, there again, thank you all for uh, hanging in there and giving us encouragement to uh, continue what we do. And uh, hopefully for another, you know, for whenever, uh, how long God allows us to do this podcast, mm-hmm. it has been a blessing. And we like get to watch movies that never expected to watch or like you hear about this movie. It's like, Ugh. 
I got to watch this film. And then it turns out it wasn't as bad as you thought it was. Or you watch a movie and it's more like that really wasn't that good. Right. (laughs) Anyway, anyway, it's going to bring us to the end of part one. Mm -hmm. So join us on the other side of the, of the uh, bumper. And we're going to talk about our, the movies we're looking forward to seeing. Yes. This year. Hopefully. Yes. Very much. Hopefully. (laughs) COVID don't get in the way. Ray, if we're wrong, we're okay. This progress is a part of Christian Reek Central Network. Christian Reek Central Rock Rock. Hey, Scoop, what are you doing, man? I don't know. I'm supposed to be reading an ad. <laughs> All right, hold on. Give me, give me it. We're okay. <laughs> All right. This podcast is part of the Christian Geek Central Network at ChristianGeekCentral.com. There you can find a collection of blogs and podcasts working together to bring you some of the best content on the web for Christian geeks, such as the Christian Geek Central Podcast, the flagship of the Christian Geek Central Network, the CGC Podcast, previously known as the Spirit Played Underground Podcast, is a weekly 30 to 60 minute biblical examination and celebration of geek entertainment and passions. It features reviews, interviews, and conversations about movies, tabletop games, video games, books, comics, TV shows, and a widening variety of other entertainment. Also included is a chapter-by-chapter examination of the Bible and its specific application for geeks. Hosted by Peter Franson of Spirit Blade Productions, the show also features listener-submitted content and segments created by other members of the CGC Network. And we're back. <laughs> uh, we are going to jump into talking about some of the upcoming movies mm-hmm. we got coming up. Now, I've got a list of movies that I got some trailers for. Mm-hmm. Uh, you kind of already know that list. Is there any of those you want to st- jump on first? Mm. Because my list was in alphabetical order. Okay, well, let's go from your list. Let's go my list. Okay, first, first one, The Adams Family 2. Hmm. Well, I have not finished Adam's Family one yet. I haven't seen Adam's Family. I watched about half of it, and then for some reason I turned it off. And I know this because I couldn't add it to my list last year because mm-hmm. that was part of the reason I was watching it. Uh, it's definitely not the old show. The old yeah. uh, John John Aston as Gomez show, but I'm not going to say that's a bad thing, right? What well, do you it, think? Well, it's there again. I have not seen the Adams Family, the newest film mm-hmm. that came out, uh, and so eventually we will have to watch that. Yes. Um, so there again, I'm kind of an open pal, uh, like a like a Clint's pal over that one. Uh, I remember watching the 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 movie that came out in the '90s and watching mm-hmm. a little of the cartoon in the '90s. Uh, other than that. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to watching the first one and kind of, cause I know we did kind of, a. uh, we talked about the first one. Yeah. We talked two years ago. Yeah. But neither one of us got in a hurry to go watch it. No, no, no. I just, I I was, there's that apprehension of watching it. So yeah, yeah, eventually we will do a review over it because the second one is coming out. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to do that. Besides, I've always been more of a Munsters guy myself. Fair enough. Anyway, what's the next one? Next one. Arlo the Alligator Boy. Ah, okay. The one that looks like they stole the art direction from Adventure Time. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. And made a Netflix movie about it. That is true. I still don't even know what this is about. Me either. Other than there's an alligator boy, and then the trailer we saw, which is really just a clip of a music video that's apparently somewhere in the movie. Mm -hmm. A large girl likes being in the sea. Yeah, and it's and the sea is glow- and the sea is glowing. Yeah, and I remember looking at this and going, "I have, this does not tell me what this is about. I don't know what's going on. It may be good. I'm not going to say it's bad. Yeah, I just don't know. It's still an unknown quantity to me. Yeah, I, w- I would agree with you there. Um, with as little information we have about this film, uh. It'll be interesting going into it because there again, there's there's no um, 
there's no uh, there's no general idea I know what's going on. Mm-hmm. So it would be interesting because most movies nowadays you get spoiled everything about. Yeah. With this one, it's more we get okay, it's a musical, it's animated, it's got an alligator boy in. Mm-hmm. That's it. So watch it and see, you know, we might do a reaction over it. So we maybe. might not. We'll have to see how it looks. Exactly. Time. Exactly. Number three, Batman, Soul of the Dragon. Hmm. I.e. the Batman Kung Fu movie. Yes. Uh, I <laughs> that know, looks fun. It, do, it does look fun. I know it just re- it recently just came out on Blu-ray DVD. Mm-hmm. And uh, I didn't realize it was already out. Yeah, it's already out. Okay. It's already well, out I'll have to look into that. Yeah, we'll have to watch that at some point. Uh, that one won't be a reaction. That'll just be straight to review. Yeah. So... Yeah, it lo- it looks fun. Be like, I, I, I watched it this afternoon. This, yeah, I watched it. I oh, watched, you've already watched it. No, I watched the trailer. Oh, watched the trailer. I watched the trailer. My apologies. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. It looks, you know, for uh, the DC animate DC movie animated universe. Mm-hmm. Whatever. What, well, it is directed by Bruce Tim. Yeah, that's of true. Batman the animated series. Fan. Yeah, that is true. And I'm fairly certain some people are going to be like, oh, it's part of the canon. Is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, so it, it looks interesting. And I, I know my I know uh, uh, Jim over on the Movie of the Week podcast is probably like, I got to watch the movie. <laughs> right. Next time on, on my list is The Boss Baby, Family Business. Well, ever since I never watched The Boss Baby... <laughs> Okay, but what from the trailer you saw? Yeah, it's. I really it, it looks interesting, but at the same time, it's more. I really don't know. Like, I mean, yeah, the, I I've seen part of the 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 first movie. Yeah, and most of that is. Uh, the older brother yeah. trying to catch the the baby mm-hmm. doing stuff that's cuz he's he's jealous cuz he took his cute fa- he, he's taking away all his parents attention oh yeah absolutely. in the first movie mm-hmm. and uh the boss baby is trying to, I don't remember exactly but somehow the reason the boss baby is there on a special assignment yeah and he was the ceo of baby corp yeah and apparently Baby Corp is about making sure people like babies and making sure babies are cute. I don't remember the exact story. Yeah. I just remember going, this is weird. The second one does kind of look interesting, yeah. but I'm With still not sure. Ninjas. <laughs> yeah, Baby Ninjas. And I don't know why a guy making sure babies are very bad babies is a necessarily a evil scheme yeah and plus this movie this i don't know i don't know what how that would help so i guess is what i'm think trying to come up with yeah and also the film or how that helps the guy yeah the sequel came out i think it's like what almost seven years later boss baby was only like two or three years ago oh okay i mean i think there's like five movies in between but that's because dreamworks has been pumping them out like a factory that is true it is dreamworks yeah so yeah, honestly, I I be like from the initial reaction to the trailer, it looks interesting. I just don't know. Okay, I'm I'm kind of indecisive about that one. Next one, Hotel Transylvania Four. Okay, we've watched one and two. Yes, I have seen three, but you have not. Right. What do you? Th- and we don't have a trailer. No, for we this don't. one. No, because it's it's an early post uh, pre production. Yeah, but it's supposed to be out this year. That's a good question. <laughs> that is, I, I I'm gonna put this one on the back burner because if it, I have a feeling COVID might have set that schedule back, and they mm-hmm. just have not announced it yet. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, we may jump uh, Hotel Transylvania three up a couple months and get that one in instead of waiting for Halloween for it. Yeah. Because if this one comes out Halloween. We want to be ready for it, I think. Exactly. Good point. Uh, Next one. This is one I hadn't heard of before. Okay. The Mitchells versus the Machines. Mm -hmm. Though when you look at the trailer, it says the movie is called Connected. Yeah. This looks funny. It does. (laughs) 
I, I, when, I, when I first saw the trailer, I was kind of thrown up by the art style. Yeah. I was like, okay, that is odd looking. Yeah. So after watching the full trailer, I've, I've seen the movie the trailer twice and I was like, okay, that's an interesting story. And then seeing this most recent trailer, that's like, okay, now I'm interested. Uh-huh. Now I'm interested in this movie. It's road. Tri- it's a road trip to get a family connection for the last time and robots and killer robots. Well, it's like if you take a goofy movie oh, and yeah. throw in killer robots. Oh my gosh. So yeah. Yeah. That's another one. That's another good one from this year. <laughs> yes. Uh, next one, Raya and the last dragon. Oh yeah. This one I'm looking forward to. Yes, I am too. It was when the announcement came out. I'm so happy that it is still going to theaters. Yes. Oh my gosh. Along with Disney premiere. Yeah. So there was, there was there again, there was always the fear with COVID and that we were going to get us a, a repeat of both of Mulan 2020. Yeah. And or so as I like to call it Mulan ball Z <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, so when soul went directly to Disney plus, I was just, crushed i was yeah. like and now that they're saying and the, dealing, and the only solace i had was i didn't like the movie okay and right. it had nothing to do with the fact i didn't see it in a the theater I, right you know go listen to reaction on that yeah so yeah just i'd be like I'm, I'm super excited about this one it's coming to theaters thank the lord um i, I like the premise we, we have actually have two movies this year that talk about dragons yes uh we'll get to that next one the, the other Here one in a little couple. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's got a great trailer. It's got a lot of nice buzz behind it as a film. Uh, and I'm just excited about this film. Yeah. I, I, I can't wait to do it. And uh, this will definitely be a reaction when, when we get it look, to it. It looks like it's going to be the anti Disney princess movie. Sounds like it. Yeah. Because part of this sounds like Moana, mm-hmm. except it's more epic and more. I don't think she's a princess. <laughs> Yeah, or princess esque. Yeah. Next on my list, Scooby Doo: The Sword and the Scoob. <laughs> oh, I could not put that on no, the list. No, you couldn't. And when couldn't. I watched the trailer, I was like, "Okay, this reminds me of some of those animated Scooby Doo movies that came out after Zombie Island." Yes, but this kind of <laughs> looks fun. <laughs> And like, you know, don't get me wrong. Be like this. It, it does. It looks like an interesting premise. It it does follow the, the, the typical norms of a Scooby-Doo movie mm-hmm. minus the time travel and the, the one dragons the, being real dragons being real. <laughs> the, the one that got me, they use so yeah, Ar- three Ar- dragons in this, this year. <laughs> that is true. They, they also use Arthur pin dragon. Yes. Instead of just Arthur or King Arthur. That was a good one. And they use uh, Morgan Le Fay yes. as the villain. I was and like, it looks like it's actually Morgan Le Fay, not someone in a Morgan Le Fay mask. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. Uh, it it looks it looks interesting. Uh, obviously, it is coming to Blu-ray and DVD, so we'll probably have to do that one at some point because mm-hmm. it looks like just a goofy. This looks like a blast. Yeah, it looks like a it's blast. It's not one I'll take seriously when no. I watch it, but this looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're ever going to get anything that came anything close to mm-hmm. Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. Oh yeah. Next on the list, this one's coming out pretty quickly. Yeah, Tom and Jerry. Ooh. I'm on the fence. Yeah, I am too. I am, I am with this movie like last year I was with Sonic. Mm. I'm not expecting much. Okay. That doesn't mean it's not going to be good. Right. But I'm not expecting much. <laughs> what? In watching the trailer, watching the full trailer, um, it's got a lot of prompts promise it does a lot of potential mm-hmm. the slapstick even kind of looks in good shape it, i don't know if it's got quite the timing the old cartoons mm-hmm. did but there's still a part of me that's looking at this and going this is tom and jerry the smurfs isn't it because <laughs> i'm always worried it's going to be a live action the smurfs yeah and i don't know why that's my 
my line. <laughs> because arguably Elvin and the Chipmunks is pretty bad too. <laughs> Very true. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, I, I'm I'm like like you with the, it's it's got the it's got the comedy that you expect with Tom and Jerry. Um uh, I'm just not sure how because I've I've heard from you at least where they they had Tom and Jerry talk and I'm hoping yes, that's hoping, a movie hoping was, that, that's a movie that goes on that, that gets reviewed when we do a bad movie month okay <laughs> so expect that at some point we've talked about that yeah one. we have talked about that we haven't decided when we're doing that <laughs> when we want to subject ourselves to a bad to bad movies for an entire month. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully when I'm not working 60 hours. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah, I just I'm I'm kind of I'm on the fence with this movie. Okay. Last on uh this new American movies. Yeah. Wish Dragon. And I say American cuz this is very obviously got a lot of China in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a Dreamworks film? Uh no, it's Sony. Oh, it is Sony. That's this is right. So, this is Sony Pictures Animation. Okay. But uh, Tencent is apparently paying a lot for this one. Okay. Watching the trailer, I was interested in this it. This is a movie definitely made for the Chinese market, and we're yeah. just getting it. Yeah. It's interesting. It's very, because it's, like the title says, it's a wish dragon. The guy finds a dragon, and he can get mm-hmm. any wish he wants, and hygiene excuse. Yes. <laughs> and my, my first thought was like, Ooh, you got a gin. Oh, sorry, pal. This is not good for you. Yeah. <laughs> like an actual gin. This is not Robin Williams. No. <laughs> I like, didn't catch who the actor was. No, but it's it was funny. Like whoever they got the voice actor for uh yeah. the the Wish Dragon was uh, it, it look, you know what it remind look looks like? It looks like Mushu playing the genie. Oh you're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. <laughs> because think about it. There there's that one scene in the trailer. What are these chips? That must be peasant food. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the I, I love the wish dragon. He's so be like, oh, you're a bunch of commoners. Oh, you're a bunch yes. of you know the, the low lives, and he's just believe, enjoying the. the strangely the com- enough, I am actually looking forward to this. Movie, yes, I am too. Despite the fact I have a feeling this is going to be a little not aimed at me. <laughs> no. But anyway, right. Okay, so that finishes our American movies we did not talk about last year. Right. I have to word it that way. <laughs> right. But So before we get into stuff we did do some talking about last year, let's touch on some anime. Okay. You're an Evangelion fan. Yes. What do you think of 3.0 plus 1.0? Oh, first they got pushed back again. <laughs> well, they had a good reason this time. And? It didn't have much of a choice. No. I don't know. It's Evangelion. I didn't like the fir- the last three movies. <laughs> Most people have didn't like the last three movies. <laughs> well, correction. I liked the first one. Mm-hmm. I liked it even better when it was cut up into episodes. <laughs> <laughs> cut up into what? Ten episodes? <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Uh, so for... The the trailer I've seen of uh, 3.0 plus 1.0. Um, you th- can not make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to make out of this alive. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I, there's a part of me that goes, is the subtitle for this one, am I going to call it, wow, even more orange juice? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Oh, man. The crazy so, thing is, I don't even still don't know what that orange juice is. Oh, it's it's not. A I'm good sure thing. it's not what I want it to be. No, no. But I'm anticipating this film. That ever since I am an Ava fan, mm-hmm. uh, it's just more like when when you watch the original series and be like, you understand what. The very end of the 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 film and very end of the show means that Shinji is breaking away from his uh his delusions his mm-hmm. escapism to live in the real world and to embrace what's going on instead of sheltering in his in his uh um uh, his hedgehog dilemma mm-hmm. where the movies kind of take that and kind of shove it to the side and make it more fantasical and make it about 
uh, escapism and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I understand where fans of the original series don't like the movies. I enjoy the movies for the storytelling and the, the character designs. And I'm, I'm so hoping in the fourth one, a certain character who pops up, gets his head popped again. The sad thing is, I have no idea who this is. Oh yeah. He's, he's <laughs> unless it's the, the guy that was at the very, very end of the second movie that kind of was a teaser image. Right before the camera zoomed out, and you see the entire world is all the oceans are blood red. That yeah, that's is that, true. Is it that guy? Oh yeah, I forgot. He already got his head popped. <laughs> Good. Good. I don't know. I don't. No, care. it's just like I'm, I'm not an Ava fan. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I forgot. I, I, I look. I I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the day you make us watch it for animated series. Oh, it, it'll so be. I'm sure, it, it's coming. It, it'll happen. So yeah, that what I referenced earlier. Forget about that. It happened in. Uh, uh, rebuild three, three point three three. These are weird titles. Let's say that. <laughs> what do you expect from this guy? Yeah, that's true. That is so true. I had whose name I can't think of. All anyway, right. next one on the list: Sailor Moon Eternal, <sighs> the anime sequel to Sailor Moon Crystal. Yeah, which is going to be retelling the story, I believe, from Sailor Moon Super S. Okay. That anime. Okay. There again, be like, I watched very little Sailor Moon right. when it came out. Well, from the trailer. Uh, from the trailer. Even though you couldn't understand what they were saying. No, because there was no <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> um, there was no subtitles for the Evangelion one either. No, there wasn't. <laughs> I couldn't find one with subtitles. <laughs> because it's not. neither one has been released in America yet. Yeah, that's true. Officially, they're not even coming here yet. Um. Mm. Uh, Visually, it looked good. Uh, it's I'm, I'm <laughs> to to use a joke from uh, a, a podcast a YouTuber. It's like most of the movie is transformation sequences. <laughs> First off, if it goes like most Sentai esque movies, yeah, there will be one good transformation sequence and any other transformations are going to go by like that that is true because they are smart enough about that to not pull that off we are it'd be like i hate to use this term but mighty Morphin power rangers the movie where they had the really good one at the beginning yeah and the other time they do it it's like okay that was interesting yeah it's like y'all had those switch it should have been the other way around but whatever (laughs) (laughs) but either either way um with without under with not understanding what's going on in the story, uh, not having a huge dynamic grasp of Sailor Moon or Sailor Moon Crystal or whatever mm-hmm. it is, um, just my general understanding of Sailor Moon, it looks interesting. Now, if we do get an English dub and it does come over to and the there states, there probably will be an English dub because yeah. the anime has got an English dub. Okay, so yeah, that, that'd be interesting. Okay. So I'm like there again with Evangelion. Whenever we do get an English dub for the trailer, uh, that mm-hmm. should be interesting. Right. Last but not least, we got two movies that are coming out this year that mm-hmm. we actually talked about last year. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Minions: The Rise of Gru. Mm-hmm. Any additional thoughts? Um. It Other lo- than I think we are going to do the first Minions movie sometime this year. Yeah, we do need to do the first one. At least that one. We'll worry about the other elements of the Gruniverse, as I called it last year. Right, right. Later. I'd say it's interesting, definitely, with how many delays this movie has had mm-hmm. due to COVID. Uh, it looks interesting. We, we do get an origin to uh, Groon. Groon? Groon. Groon. Uh, I won't call him Groon because he's he's not a, a betrayer of cats. <laughs> no, but it's just Gru. G-R-U. Yeah, Gru. Uh, it looks interesting. It looks interesting. Uh, there again, I have not seen Minions. Uh, I saw Despicable Me one in theaters. <laughs> Do I remember most of it? Kind it's, of. I was kind of distracted a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> and it's been a while, and yeah. you haven't seen the other two. Yeah, exactly. So it it does look interesting. Um, and yeah, I will give it a shot. All right. Last, but not well for you. It might be least. Yeah. <laughs> The SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Water. 
Sponge on the run, not sponge on the water. Yeah. Sponge on the water. <laughs> Starfish in the sky. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, the 3D animated <laughs> SpongeBob. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like a stupid idea. <laughs> I'll say what I said last year. Okay. If this is like the first SpongeBob movie, I will be fine. If it's not, well, I'm not missing anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, from what I saw in the trailer, it looked fine. There again, I have no uh, nostalgia for SpongeBob whatsoever. Uh, I, I guarantee I watched the movie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably get a little bit of the context of what's going on. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I'll watch the movie. Uh, it looked enjoyable for what mm-hmm. SpongeBob is. Uh, I will definitely watch it at some point. And uh, yeah. And, th- and then I know, I know we miss one, one movie that's supposed to come out. Oh, yeah. I may have accidentally knocked it off the list. Yeah, you did. Because I think all we had was like a short thing. But Yeah, Clifford. No, that one I took off the list intentionally. <laughs> no, no, because see, okay. It is fair. We should talk about Clifford because yeah. but it's, at the same time, we know nothing about what this is going to be. That is true. It was such a bad trailer, though. <laughs> yes. But I because we are bringing up Clifford, I have to bring up a meme I saw. Okay. This was obviously a picture, uh, a screenshot of some Tumblr posts. Uh huh. But it said, imagine. At Paw Patrol headquarters, you know, the Paw Patrol, there's no job too big, no pup too small. Right. Well, imagine one day Godzilla attacks. (laughs) And they have to call in their disgraced member, (laughs) Clifford the Big Red Dog. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Hey, oh. I, uh, I will still admit, I still believe that Clifford the Big Red Dog is a kaiju. <laughs> That's going to look you to death. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why he's red? I have no idea. Is he angry? No. Why? Because uh, I can't think of the girl's name in, that, in those books. But she loves him so much. That's why he's red. That's why. Oh, that's a stupid reason to be red. The power of love <laughs> turned him red. Apparently, yeah. I still don't know why he turned big, but <laughs> or she, or it could have been the fact that be like he he ran into a a rose a, a rose bush, and it absorbed into his skin, absorbed into his fur, and like. But no matter how you look at this, this sounds like a kaiju origin story. It does. <laughs> it does. And, and some somehow by the power of the roses he became <laughs> became this big enormous. By the power of roses, I am Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> that that'll be interesting how they explain why Clifford is the way he is. That will be interesting. Yeah, the, the trailer, if you have not seen it, is uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, interesting. And I was like, okay, this looks a little odd, and then Drew explained it. I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. It's a bad Photoshop filter. That's it's my a problem. Bad with Photoshop it. filter. Actually, that's a strange thing. It actually looked better the second time I watched. Yeah, I agree. And I don't know why that is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just because I accepted it. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Jiminy Crickets on a pogo stick. That is true. So that brings us to the end of that. Before we cut out of here. I want I want to talk about one more thing. We have we have talked about a bunch we've teased a bunch of movies that uh I just clicked the wrong thing. Hang on. We've teased a bunch of movies that we're going to review okay in the next year. But that can't be all the ones we're thinking about. Yeah. So do you have any that you want to tease? Hmm. Movies that we're gonna be wa- be watching this year. Mm-hmm. Huh. I can tell you four of them. Okay. What are the four? That things? would be during Miyazaki month. That is true. That is so true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we got those to- are Palm Poco. Mm-hmm. Uh, my neighbor. This is not in order. My neighbor, the Yamadas. Okay. 
Princess Mononoke. Oh, that was an interesting one. And Whispers of the Heart. Okay. So, yeah, we got that coming up in November. Yeah. Uh, I know we are going to do... I know, obviously... Space Jam. Space Jam. We are ta- we're probably going to at least do a reaction to Space Jam. Yeah, we're going to do a reaction to Space Jam. And um, I think if, assuming Jim's eye troubles clear up, that's when we plan to actually do a review on next year on, on Movie of the Week, too. Yeah. That is going to... Yeah. So we have all those that we have. Uh, we actually have a special guest coming on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's next time. We've got two guests currently lined up. Yeah. Uh, one of them is a guest we've had on before. Yes. And I'm not going to tell you who they are because this is generally a surprise when they come on. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah. I will say for that one, we are reviewing uh, My Hero Academia 2 Heroes. Mm-hmm. So that is technically off our list until that episode. That is true. And also, and I'm we're not- still trying to get that, you know, lined out. So we don't really have much news on that one. Yeah, and also we we may have an extra another uh, co-host with that, another special guest with that one, right? Because I've mentioned that in the past, mm-hmm. and uh, with more getting that lined out, it might yeah. we'll see how that goes. Fuse things a little better. It'll be a weird crossover with somebody extra. Yeah, but we'll see how that goes. Also, uh, next week mm-hmm. we've got a special guest coming on. He's not from anything unless you go to his church, <laughs> which true. I almost guarantee you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't admit an election. <laughs> He's a good friend of ours named yes. uh, Chase Murphy. Yes. I, just, I couldn't think of his last name. <laughs> well, at least you're not pulling me. It's like, yeah, my friend Drew. I mean, Chase. <laughs> yes. I, I'm glad I didn't confuse Chase with myself. <laughs> That'd be weird. Yes. But we're reviewing Tron next week. Yes. A movie I've never seen before. Shame. Ever. Shame. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. They'll both uh, say that. Besides those. Yeah. Have you got anything that you're thinking, I'm going to put this on the list? Ooh. I've got a couple things. Okay. I know I know. I want to do Weathering With You. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know we have the remainder of our list to go through. Yeah. Uh, do you have that list available? I can get it up. While I'm getting that up, I'm going to go over some of the ones I'm looking, I'm wanting to do next okay. year. Or this year. Yeah, this coming year. Uh, last year, we did the Muppet movie. And yes. before that, we did Muppet Christmas Carol. Yes. I think it's high time we do the Great Muppet Caper. Okay. The second part of the trilogy. Oh, okay. The original 70s trilogy. Okay. Or 80, 70s, 80s. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's about Kermit the Frog and Fozzie Bear, twin reporters for the the the, uh, the Chronicle, going to London to beat to, to catch some uh, jewel thieves. Oh, okay. And by twins, I mean twins. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> it's, there again, haven't seen it yet. I'm uh, just throwing that out there. It's like, yeah, they're twins. Uh, you should I, see their father. Oh wow! <laughs> so there, there's another one I really want to do because we had talked about this one last year mm-hmm. uh, due to COVID. We weren't able to do it. Um, for all of those '90s '90s kids like me and Drew and everybody else, uh, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film. Yes, and uh, we've got I, plans for all three of those. Four, well, four of those. Sorry, but we don't have those set in stone yet. Yeah. In fact, we need to broach that subject with those people again. Yes, we do. But we have not done that yet. Yeah, so that might that might be in the cards this year. All right. So. Um, another one I want to do, and it's one I was reminded of when HBO Max launched. Okay. The Jetsons the movie. Oh, yes. That's a VHS I wore out. Yeah. And by VHS, I mean recorded off Disney Channel or whatever channel it was on <laughs> when it was aired. Right. Uh, so yeah, be like, you have those, you have, uh, King's Glaive, uh, Final Fantasy 15. Final Fantasy 15. That's probably going to be our first one after Tron. I'm thinking outside of obviously my hero. Yeah. We run these through just an order here. Okay. So yeah, after Tron, we'll get King's Glaive, then Hercules, then, uh, Batman versus Two-Face, Two-Face. Mm-hmm. and then, uh, Promare. Promare. Yeah. Promare was, I mean, like a movie I watched, uh, late last year. Uh, that is from uh, Madhouse Studios. 
Blues. Yeah, it was Madhouse. Yeah. And uh, just cinematically wise, amazing film. Uh, it's n- crazy to the walls, nutty, like any most Madhouse uh, productions. And it's 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 an interesting that goes off. If you've ever seen um, what's what's the uh, the TV series called? Uh, Gurren Lagan. Gurren Lagan. Gurren Lagan. Yeah, Gurren Lagan. You'll completely get this film because how nutty it is. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in the me that believes in you. you. <laughs> exactly. Stupidest line I've ever heard. Yeah, but and yet it fits. It does fit. Uh, so yeah, we'll be watching those. We're watching those, and uh, so if you have any recommendations, recommendation movie we watch within reason. <laughs> You've uh, been reading the chat too, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you have recommendations within reason, uh, we we will not do anything adult oriented at all. We reserve the right to say no. Exactly. Um. So if you have any recommendations, there again with a reason, uh, put it down in the chat below or on our Facebook, on our Twitter, or Instagram, what have you. Uh, let us know, and we might consider the movie, and it might be like, hey, we never thought of this film. There's always that chance. There's always a chance to be like, and so, yeah, just let us know. Let us know, and uh, that they might get picked. You never know. Um. So yeah, uh, that's all for right now. What I what I've got right now, be like I might watch a film, but like we gotta watch this film, gotta watch it. Yeah, we, we got we got to review it. So uh, yeah, we'll, we will venture into twenty twenty one and uh, see where we go from there. Yeah. So uh, that's probably going to be it. Yeah. Uh, do you have a rating for last year? Oh, <laughs> I'm messing with you. Oh, dude. wow. I, I, would, I would say a, a definite, definite 10. If we're talking about our show, yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> if we're I, talking about the year in general with COVID-19, I'm giving it a two. <laughs> it I, could have been a lot worse. Well, I, I, I would say like uh, the show itself, it was a 10. The show? Our show. Our show. Our show, yeah. Our show was a, tw- was a 10. Uh, for definitely the the content we had, the the guests yeah, we had, because this is just kind of completely unbiased rank rating. No, of course not. <laughs> it's like no, I'll give us a five because we stink. <laughs> no. <laughs> now that- anyway. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Cellcast. And as I think I have completely forgotten to say for a, a long point in time, this has been Drew. This is Jacob. And we'll catch you in the next frame. We should have this already up so I can hit stop. Come, Jacob. We must prepare for next week. Prepare for what, Drew? Same thing we do every week, Jacob. Record a podcast. Oh, boy. So where can they find you, Jacob? You can find me on Facebook at Jacob B. Heron, also on Facebook at Jacob Daily Art Corner, where I try to draw each and every day. I don't get to it as often as I like, but uh, join me there. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Jacob B. Heron, on Twitter at Jacob Heron, and Letterbox at Jacob Heron. So where can they find you, Drew? You can also follow me on Letterbox at GGeorge759, Facebook as Drew Dodgen, uh, my Facebook page where you can see pictures I've taken at Drew's Photo Bin. You can also follow me on Twitter at GGeorge759. You can email us at thecellcastpodcast at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at cast underscore cell. You can follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash thecellcastgaming. You can also follow us on YouTube at Cellcast. Listen to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and your favorite podcast directory. You can also listen to us on the Movie of the Week podcast with Jim Heron, where we talk about live-action movies. And remember, Cell is a single single L. L.